heavy. Yeah. Do you want to see my haul from KCON? Oh yeah. Well, behold. Hey guys, so today I am here to bring you my haul from Kitacon 2014 with four other people. So we'll start over here. This is Lee from West UK. Uh, this is Alan Bakashev from Bakashev and West UK. Um, you should know me if you're here. This is Tensei Twister. Someone stole my hair. Oh, it got cut. <coughs> is that spiky now though? Yeah. <laughs> this is Starshoot, and they both run a channel about figures, if you didn't know, you know. We're like toys. And we're all from Waka. Toys! We're all from otakakato.com, which you can find... The best website! In the link down below. In the link down below. Um, but we're going to do a haul today of all of our collective things, because Kitacon has not been very fruitful. Would anyone well, agree? <laughs> well, in comparison. This is, this is my mm. first convention, so I got—I was pretty happy with what I found. Yeah, that's my first one. So. If you were at Iacon, you'd be like, "This is shit." Yeah. Well, <laughs> as, as far as having lots of stuff goes, we have a lot of stuff. We were just very much spoiled at Iacon. Mm -hmm, it's true. Um, but we're gonna start with DVDs, and Lee doesn't have any DVDs, do you? No, because. No, just no. no. Just no. no. Just so we're going to start with a good old backer shift. If he does one and then we'll move down the. Oh, we're doing one each? Yeah, why not? Alright, funky dunky. Even though you've only got one. I've only got, <laughs> really got, got one. three things. I could, do, I could do one volume at a time. We've got Art Box of Angelic Leia, which was £20. £20. Pounds. Nice. So, what do you know about this show? Um, I've heard of it. It's got Angel of Leia. I've heard it. I have not seen it. Oh movie. man, you were for a treat. That was 20 quid well spent. It was. <laughs> and well out of print. Not currently licensed by anyone. So 20 quid for a full art box in very good condition mm -hmm. is a, a good deal in my book. I guess I'll start at the top of mine with. Whoa. <laughs> I just realised you've got way more. So we're doing yeah. one each and then you'll just have a massive pile to do it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, DVD one of Super Gals. Which is a show that I've been told is surprisingly good. I've never um, heard of it ever. I haven't watched any of it before, but I did have some of it downloaded. So I have the DVD now, and I bought this for three pounds, and I'm pretty pleased with that. So I don't have anything to say on it because I don't know anything about it really, apart from it's about some uh, some super gals. Some super, super gals. gals yeah. So yeah. We I only got one. I say one. I got like eight. <laughs> You bastard. 20? 20 of your British, well, 20 of my British pounds got me the complete collection of the original animated series of uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. And this is what happens when I let Cam in front of me in the queue. 20 quid? The, 20. To be fair, it's a bit battered. Yeah, the box is a bit rough. You don't need that though, you just take that out. But it's all good. It's eight DVDs. Print, print, uh, what's that then? That's what? That's 20 divided by 8? Uh, I don't know, man. Maths? Two point five, two and a half quid. Like sixty DVD. That's pretty good. That's amazing. Have you seen even Gillian before or not? Uh, I've seen up to there of the original of the oh, series, dear. and I've watched like the first film. <laughs> I suck when it comes to Evangelion, but that's one reason why I wanted to buy it so much. That's why I went yes, this because I needed to watch this for bloody years. Yeah, and I don't have any DVDs, so <laughs> <laughs> straight back to me. Yep. Yeah. Number two, I got. Ignore this, the rattling. Yeah, that's uh, Griffith's sword that's inside this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got uh, the D Grey Man season one and two box set for a tenner, which that's nowhere near all D Grey Man. So, oh, uh, Fifty-one episodes for a tenner. Can't really go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's not shit, but it might be. And we'll find out. I like D Grey Man. Is I'm it done. degrading? The, <laughs> the manga's cracking. Let's do my favourite purchase. Of course. Is it? Is it all your favourite DVD? My favourite DVD Blu-ray purchase. Which is the Blu-ray of Utano Prince Summer, Magi Love, Sun to Sun. So it's the first series, and I love this show. People should know this, but I love this show, and this was twenty nine fifty. Should have been thirty four fifty, but they marked it wrong. Ha. <laughs> so yeah. The American Sentai release? The American Sentai release? Nova coming out in this country ever? And you still don't have a Blu-ray player? Still don't have a Blu-ray player, but when I do, I am now prepared. It's alright, you can just pop that on your desk. Like, you'll, you'll do this. You just have it sat on your desk. And you watch it on Crunchyroll and pretend you're watching it on the Blu-ray. To be fair, though, 
I could put this with my new Altair figures. Not my new ones, my new pre ones. And then when I get my new ones in the end of next month, it's gonna be a proper thing. We'll do all my UP stuff then, I guess. Yeah. So the first thing that I purchased was Chaos Head. It's a head. <laughs> It's a head of chaos. I am probably the only person here who likes Chaos Head. I haven't seen it, so... It's, it's, it's watchable. Wait, you should have opinions on Chaos Head. I, I've got a lot of opinions on Chaos Head. Because I know it, you used to like it. No, no, no. What happened was, it was awesome for a bit. Mm. And then it went really shit. Mm. And then he went naught to badass in half a sentence. And, and then it ended. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's pretty much my exact feelings on Chaos Head. Well, we watched it at the same time. We watched it in the club, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, the first time I watched this was in Anime Club, because it was on, I put the first episode on, and I really liked it. And I finished it in that same week, like a marathon, the whole thing. And I remember really liking it, but I've watched Steins Gate since then. so <laughs> weird to think that that is the precursor to Steins Gate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's why it gets such a bad rep, because yeah. in comparison to Steins Gate, it's just unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy with that. This was £10, so it's not very expensive. I reckon I got quite a bargain there for a complete series, to be honest. Next Still. one, he's nodding about it. County and Stocking with Garter Belt. Um, I love this series. I haven't seen it in forever. Yeah. But. Can wear the. We're in the Scandi Knee Socks. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I just really like Panty and Stocking. It's a bit of silly fun. And I've been meaning to buy the DVD for ages, but they had a lot of printing issues at first, and <laughs> then I just forgot about it. I finally have it. This cost £15. Pounds. Well worth it, in my opinion. 15 quid? 15 quid. Yeah, man. Well worth it. Yeah. It's not Blu-ray, though. It isn't a Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. I it's am. Blu -ray Blu -ray. You, can't, you can't win them all. It's true. But none of this is important, because you saved the best for last. Yeah, well, I've, been, I've been eyeing this one up as well. This was the last thing I bought from UP that wasn't Utapri. And it's the complete first series of The World God Only Knows. And I proper love this show. I think it's amazing. Everyone should watch it at least once. Because it's just a bit of fun. And this was £10. And you... My wife lives in there. Yeah. <laughs> she lives in there. Are you, are you just like nodding in just... agreement? So I good. love that show. It's that, is so good. The, that is the precise definition of a show that I would never watch in a million years. But I love it. <laughs> <laughs> my final. This is actually my only other thing. I only bought three things. In comparison to Icon, I walked home with like a perfect grade, a real action heroes, and enough DVDs to match my own height. My so he's probably going to nap after this. Yeah, I'm just going to sit over there and giggle. I got the, the last a box set of Revolutionary Gully Revolutionary Gully Turner, the Nozomi releases. The most excessive, huge release of anything ever. 39 episodes across three box sets. They can work that much space, which goes against everything I stand for. But it's worth it, because it's a tenner. And that was uh, 37.99, but they undercharged me. So it was 27.99. So that's a thumb. And another one. And another one. Yeah. And this is cool, because this is the Apocalypse Saga, so the last arc of the series. And it also comes with the movie, so I can have get rid of my locally released version of the movie. And just have it all like this. I guess I'll go through the last of my stuff, which is quite a few things. All bring and buy stuff, I believe. Um, and I don't have a lot to say on some of them, so. First one, Panda Z. Got it because it's got a panda figure with it. No, you got oh, it just because it's got panda in the title. And it's got panda in the and title. And it's sealed. And it was 250. It's sealed and it's 250 and it's from Bees, so it's out of print now. And hopefully, it should be pretty good. The next right. one. I we joke. Yeah. We joked for ages, like, oh, this bring by there's going to be Nana for a pound. It's not, it wasn't pound, but it, it was Nana. And it wasn't, it wasn't the, the set that we wanted. But it was Nana. And I couldn't not buy it, because I love Nana. He hasn't watched Nana, no. and I don't think either of you two have watched Nana. Watch and that disappoints me. I'm going to make her watch it for sure, because mm -hmm. I think she'll really like it. Yeah. And you have to watch it. And you'll just watch it with her. So everyone will watch Nana? Mm-hmm. And we'll be happy. It's a good show, I promise. Alright, alright. I'll, I'll watch this show. Did you like Beck? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty similar to Beck. Ah, alright. In the fact that it's music themed. <laughs> so, what you're saying is, it's as similar to Beck as it is to Kaon, in the fact that they sing it. I don't really have anything else to say about Nana, because uh, Other than that it's like, super tatty. Yeah, it's like a super disgusting... Do we... Bleh. I don't know if, that, if in the Shoujo Beat volumes they've actually released it all. 
Yeah, they have. They have, cool. Uh, it's in four parts and they're about 20 quid each. And you get another 16 bed. And I got this for £6. So Next, I don't know anything about this thing. It was 50p and it's called Sword of the Stranger. Old B's release. Apparently yeah. it's really good. Uh, I, I haven't seen it, but it's meant to be like Have you good. seen it? Yeah. Was it worth 50p? It was well worth 50p. Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh, it's 50p. It's, it's a bit... The condition's a bit dodgy. That always happens with those cardboard releases. Yeah. I feel like it came in a, a sleeve. It did, it did yeah, come in a sleeve. Yeah, it should have done. Um, it's what it's 50p. possible as is. 50p for it's an out of print it. release because this is bees again, so it's not print. I can't complain. So I'll watch that. Is it a movie? Yeah. Yes, it is a film. I'll watch that at some point, probably, when I get home. One day in the future. One day in the future. Uh, next is the place promised in our early days for four pounds. Bit of that Makoto Shinkai. The only reason that I bought this is because every time I've seen it, it's been about twenty for some reason. It's always really expensive, so I thought four was an alright price for it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Long, long, long time ago. Did you not watch it again? I no. <laughs> one, one, it, it, it gets its one. That's that's that's. That in a nutshell, you don't really. It's, it's weird. It's hard to watch a Kota Shinko film a second time because you can just watch another one of his films and you're watching the same film again anyway. So yeah, I haven't seen this. I will watch it at some point. And the last DVD was my bargain, my total bargain. One that you may or may not already own. Yeah, I might have this. I might not. But I thought 20p for fl uh, volume five of Full Metal Alchemist was just worth, a price it. worth paying. Worth, worth a pint. Uh, so yeah, 20p. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist original series, by the way. So, the next thing that I got, I'm sorry that I'm just hogging all this video, guys. Um, it is your channel. I think yeah. that's exactly <laughs> right. uh, like, Our time will come. Yeah, your time, you're, you're gonna shine in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the Nana soundtrack, basically. All the songs that Anna uh, Tsuchiya did for Nana in this nice little box. Two CDs and a DVD, fifteen pounds. Really, really pleased with it because I really like her voices, Nana's singing voice. No one else knows. I don't even know why I'm even trying to go into it. Do you, uh, do, do you like Nana? By any chance? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I don't know why, but you don't seem like a fan. Yeah. And in terms of games, I bought Soul Calibur 4 for three pounds, so I can play as Yoda. That's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on to manga. Go on, Emily. Oh, yeah, go, go, go crack it out, Emily. Go on, Emily, not Emily. Oh. <laughs> you might as well start and start again, singing. Yeah. Okay. I pretty much spent all of my money on manga. So we'll start with Full Volume. Volume 1 and 2, Senran Kagura. The game's pretty good, so I thought I'd give the manga a bash. Like a bash is a good word to use. <laughs> yeah, a bash is a good word to use considering it's uh, sealed in semen proof. <laughs> <laughs> and it says adult on the front of both of them. Yes. yes. Double adult. Double the awesome. And I paid £7 a book, which is about right these days. I haven't bought yeah. manga for about a year. So I, I spent very today expensive. catching up. Like, if you buy it in book, it's super expensive. New, it's expensive. But I like it. Buying it at the brain. Yeah, you get that new book smell. Yeah, you get the new book smell. And the pages feel nice. Yeah, it's all. Like when it's used, it's all like soft and gross. <laughs> You're not concerned that what substances may have been on it. Yeah. Oh, especially with the sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God knows. Uh, so, are we, are we doing? Yeah, we'll do, the, we'll do the. We'll do the flu. Uh, I'll do this one. Beyblade volume eleven for a pound. Cause I like Beyblade. You might already have it. I might already have it, <laughs> but it was a pound. You need, you need to keep a list with you. I do. You used to, didn't you? I've still got it. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the book. Today, yeah. The book. The book. <laughs> where he keeps a list of all the manga that he has, right? It's everything that I need to buy. Oh, and then you're like... And then I crave, if I complete a series, it gets scribbled down. Oh, that's clever. See? And you're addicted to notebooks, so that's like your jam. It's true. I'm like Elsie with fire trucks, but with notebooks instead. You've got a big red notebook, if you sorted. I'm just going to get this one out of the way, because it's on top. It's the best All the semen proof this, this was This was just like the first thing that I grabbed, I was like, is it Monster Musume? And there it is, Monster Musume. I 
know nothing about this series. It's about monster girls and breasts. It's about like these monster the girls that are forced to live in a I like how the guy who sold this is just using random baggies because it's like <laughs> yeah, I know. clothes. I know, yeah. It's, about, it's, oh, it's, because, it's because he had to get this like brought in especially. Like this was the only copy that arrived that morning. So I found volume two and I was like, wicked! Volume two? Where's volume one? I mean, it wasn't anywhere. My heart started beating. Yeah. I was panicking. I asked the guy, "You got volume one?" He had volume one, and this then he didn't have it anymore because I found boy. <laughs> the series is about um, like these monster people, and they're trying to integrate them with humans. And this guy ends up getting stuck with like a harem of just different monster girls who all just want to marry like, She's read it all. Yeah, I read all. I haven't read any of it, which is why I bought it. Is it good? Yeah, I enjoy it. You... I assume if you've read all of it. Yeah. But... Uh, it's good for a good laugh. I have to <laughs> apologise. For most of these series, I just kind of grabbed it and gave it to the guy, so I don't actually know how much they cost. I'd say about seven-ish pounds per book. It's they ma were... manga price. Okay. <laughs> the, those ones were seven pound each. Alright. Well, we'll keep the Monster Girl theme going. And I've got one or two of uh, a centaur's life. <laughs> That's because, life. because, yes, look, the horse ladies, do you need to say more than, look, she's got like, her name is. Ruma on. Her name is. Uh, her name is Hime. She's adorable. And look at her. Look how amazing she is. The only thing is, they're C format size, so they just put your shelf up. My favourite book purchase. The latest Genshiken second season, because I'm all, I'm all about this. I might have already read this online, but I have to own these. I have to own these. And it's the you one. You're gonna support. You're gonna support people. It's the one where Sue is Meru. So it's like all the shit goes down in this book. And if you haven't watched, read, or had anything to do with Genshiken, what is wrong with your life? You change it immediately. <laughs> how, much, how much are those? Because I remember Genshiken used to be super expensive. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know because I don't care. Because I'm living <laughs> my life. But I'd say it's probably eight quid for these. Yeah. Because Genshiken, um, like the first season, used to be really expensive yeah. and it and it was like impossible for me to buy. How many seasons had to get hold of these things? Because uh, I just bought it as it was coming out, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Fairly easy. Is it, is it still in print that. and stuff? Because it was, was Delray. Del yeah. Mm. Pretty sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. Who knows, bros? Who knows? Do you want to do zero? Oh, yeah, go on then. Do a bit, bit of ZNT. A bit of ZNT, because I recently built the uh, the Wuss deck. Hey, no, that's supposed to be a secret. I mean, oh no. I mean, I didn't build a ZNT deck. <gasps> He's not playing ZNT <gasps> in the air show <laughs> So. I have to wait for a second. One to seven. Cost me a tenner a book, which I thought was pretty good. So oh, um, for the omnibuses, that's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, oh, it's, it's all about so different to the anime. Yeah. It's all about being magical, summoning people to do shit. So uh, this guy loves his pantsuit. Gets sucked into a magical realm. Has to work for Lolly, Sundere Lolly. So um, maybe yeah, Louise will be less insufferable. Not being voiced by Ryuki Me. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest, I bought it for Siesta. It's a delicious <laughs> maid. So, uh. Is that so, yeah. the manga of Zero Nosa Kaima? Or is it like a sequel or a prequel? Oh, it's, it's the manga yeah, of. It's, it's just the same thing. It's Zero Nosa Kaima, it's called in. Yeah. So, it's so, yes. in scrubby western land. Mm -hmm. I get confused when I know things as like Zero Nosa Kaima. So, when you put it like Zero is Familiar, I'm like, is that like a sequel? Or no, what? No, no. <laughs> Which is, I have, it's weird hearing it as Zero is Familiar because whenever I yeah. hear it being in English, it's a familiar of Zero. Yeah. I was super pleased with this because Lee will attest to the fact that Tokyo Pop books in general have been out of print for ages and they did not print a lot of the last volumes of Fruits oh, Basket. God no. <laughs> and they are so difficult to get a hold of, especially at an affordable price. And I bought all of these. <laughs> so it's volume 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, the banquet book and the Fruits Basket and Friends book, which I'm not really too sure what these are. They'll just sit on the end. I'm happy to have them. Um, so I'm missing volume 22, but I got these for £8.50. Which is an absolute steal. That, that's for all of them. That's for all of that's them. That's not each. <laughs> Jeez. Um, that's a good steal. That's bring and buy, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that, yeah. This is bring and buy stuff. And I'm really pleased because Fruits Basket is one of my favourite mangas. I think it's an incredible story. Way better than the anime because the anime was unfinished. And <laughs> you even speak highly of the anime. So there you go. And I even like the anime quite a lot, to be honest. I might rewatch it when I get home. <laughs> Sorry, you just read those now. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Fruits Basket. Do you think it was a good purchase? 
Amazon amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Basket mm-hmm. fruits. Do you think it's a better purchase than Utena Prince Samurai Brewer at twenty nine fifty? Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who I've spoken to who knows that I like. But who knows that I've been through the experience of tempering my soul in the fires of Hades by experiencing Berserk as a series. I've gone, well, you know, you, you, you flagellate yourself with manga. You should probably read Gantz. So I'm going to. And I found volumes 2, 3, and 4 at the Bring and Buy. They were, they were like two quid a volume, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I bought them. They, that was all the Gantz that was. In fact, it was Neil. Um, a good friend, Neil, basically went up to me and went, Cam, buy these. And I was like, good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shouldn't have found the first one now. Yeah, I just need to find volume one, then I can actually read them. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, I've heard very, I've heard good things about, about I've heard this very series. mixed things about the series, but I think it's in well, a similar vein well, to what you. I've heard, I've heard that. Yeah, I've it's heard that it's it will just. In yeah. the the anime was god awful, mm-hmm. and the manga is meant to be like solid as a rock. Apparently, this will destroy my soul, and I can't wait. We'll keep the bring and buy theme, and this is my single purchase because the bring and buy was a bit, a bit disappointing. Wank. Yeah, it was. I spent a quid. And two mo 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 because I don't know why I enjoyed this and I got to book three and I stopped buying it. And it's one of them things, you know, it just falls by the wayside because you, you, you so much crap to keep up on. So I was like, you know, for a quid, I'll, I'll have another go. Who doesn't like tiny ladies that want to get married and punch things? I remember um, you recommended that to me. In my first year of university, mm. and I didn't like it at all. And it's the only thing you've ever recommended me that I didn't like. So. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. This is another series that I, um, I basically just walked up to the stall and went, <laughs> mine. Um, so to start things off with, I bought two volumes of Puella Magi Orico Magica, which is all of it. Um, which is like one of the spin-off series that's set before the series. Is this a canon? It's yeah, oh yeah, it's all canon, this is all canon. It's an alternate timeline story. No, so not quite then. <laughs> not quite, but itch. And yeah, so it's, it's a slightly different take on things, and I've been meaning to read it for a while, but I, I only buy manga at events, so I haven't bought it or anything like that. So there's, there's that. But that's not all, but we'll get to that in a minute. Because my Nendo just arrived for this, I thought, you know what? Let's get Watamole 1 and 2. What's the full name of that? Alright, it's got a typical light novel title of No matter how much I look at this, no matter how much I look at it, it's your guy's fault that I'm not. A mess. In Japanese, it's like Waka Wiki Gishai Kiji Kiji Waka Wiki Kiki Kiji Kiji With Sean's too, Watamote. Watamote. So yeah, it's, it's about a girl who isn't popular but really wants to be. And she's got a friend who wasn't popular and now is. And she's insanely jealous, and it's hilarious because she just gets to up, up to all sorts of shit. And what, what did you and think yeah. of the end, man? I enjoyed it. Well, because... Have you read this prior to watching the series? Yes. And how do you think it compared? Yeah, it was all right. You know, it was all right. I saw, I saw, man. We can all, we can all relate to poor, poor Karoki. And that, I don't know. That's why I enjoyed it because like, I feel for you, love. <laughs> I feel for you. So, so yeah. Also, it's one of those really nice. Yeah, I was like yeah, when you were yeah, putting yeah. together. Yeah, I was like, oh. press sort of. It's got the finish on. There's a bit of bit of lamination on there. So the, can, the, I, can I have a go? go it's the there. classic Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei treatment. Yeah, that's and nice. you have to pay for that. Oh yeah, it's like eight or nine pound a book. As as I was reaching to to grab Oriko Magica, my hand was slightly wider than it probably should have been, and I accidentally, in my grasp, picked up the the first four volumes of Puella uh, Magi Kazumi Magica. Which is another spin-off story. Wait, so first thingy. four, does that mean that one goes on a bunch of uh, It's at least five volumes long. I don't know how long it is. It's but we have a better idea than I do. It's like, something, it's like over 20 chapters. Like so it's probably going to be about five or, five or, five or six volumes yeah. by the looks of things. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I've been after these for a while. So being able to just go, yeah, I'll have all of them was, was quite nice. I'm going to go home and read them. Because I've been wanting to read them for a while and you've been... Pending me to read them for a long time. So good. I don't read manga though, I just buy it and look at it. I read it online because I didn't realise that it was going to become licensed, and then when I heard it was licensed, I was like, even better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll start with, uh, we'll start small, and we'll go Torador number four. I think it's on Tora four, right? Seven at the minute, is it on book seven? Okay. It's, 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 it's not the latest one, but it's another series I love very much. Minorin is easily the best character in this because she's hyper and, and awesome. 
So if, you, if you're a if you're a rom com fan and you haven't watched Torador, this is another one for you to give a go. It's just the manga is another one of those really expensive ones, though, as far as I remember. Yeah, because it's seven seas. Uh, the people uh, who have that start enough. being published because Torador was based Aye. on light novels. Ages ago, it's like it's a shame the light novels aren't worse than a year or so. Yeah, so, but yeah, it's seven seas. Who have a lovely habit of like getting a book five and then going, yeah, I'm done with this. <laughs> it might be twenty books long, but I'm done with this. I'm jealous of these like, ones. Oh, you, you I mean, spotted them in the yeah, distance yeah. and I went, oh. Yeah, we know. Eight and nine a bunny drop. Love that series so much. And it was nine quid a book, which I thought oh, was she's old. all right for these. Yeah. Spoiler, she grows up. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a lovely. I have a. Paternal instinct when it comes to things like this, like Yotsuba. I love Yotsuba. I have to buy it as soon as it comes out because mm. mm. I just I read it. I get really happy. Then I get really sad, and then the next book comes out. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found that serious because I picked it up and I, I wasn't expecting much of it, but I was like, this is really really good. Like it wasn't something you really go after, and you're just like. I, really um, like that. I don't know what kind of feeling it gives me, but it makes me fucking happy, whatever it is. <laughs> I watched the anime, and I was, even though it wasn't very long, it didn't cover much, I was like, yeah, this, this makes me feel happy inside. I really loved the anime. The anime was so wonderful just to watch. It's just so good. Yes. And because it's been so long since I've read this, I'm going to just start from the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be a fun day for me. Right, I've got two I've got more. Two more things. So, the reprint of Dead Man Wonderland are now under Viz, because it used to be under Tokyo Pop and that's impossible to get. Luckily I didn't start collecting that. <laughs> Otherwise I would have to have got all of them and then started yeah, where so Viz like would shop. It's like Yotsuba, where goes to like volume 6 with the original people, and then they have to start again, yeah. it's like, errr. Because well, you can't have your spines change. No, no, mine do. No. Because, no, no, they have to, man. Because I can be like, yeah, I've got the really nice, really nice ones I did before. <laughs> and my favourite purchase oh, sweet. for the manga is Dojin Work 1 to 4, which I believe is all of it. The last time I it's checked. It's funny because this is relevant because Manga Gakan to our sister Angel Sam Charles coming out next season. That's Same manga game. There you yeah. go. Same guy. Set me back 15 quid for something that's insanely out of print. I figured, why not? So, yeah, that's yeah. a good purchase. Shout mm -hmm. out to Laura. Yes. Speaking of shares, Laura. Speaking of yes. shares, to Laura. The, um, um, so the price tag on it. the price tag on this was 125 pounds. I didn't pay that. I have instead entered a satanic blood pact, in which um, I'll pay for it eventually, because mm -hmm. um, this is from the same person that I bought all 36 volumes of Berserk from for our lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is all of the original run of Battle Angel Alita, which I've been kind of. Keeping my eye on for a while, um, like I've, I've got it under very good recommendation that it's that it's excellent, but it's bloody hard to get hold of. So seeing all of it in one go, I was just like, yeah, yeah, all right. Because yeah, this this is tough to get hold of. It's it's been reprinted once. The original print was by Dark Horse, and then this is the the Viz print, so it's slightly more decent. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna read that. Mm -hmm. I just have to bloody find the sequel now. Last order. So we're gonna move on to. Away from manga, because everyone's talked about the manga, and we're going to go on to magazines, I guess, because we bought a lot of magazines this weekend. They, they were cheap. They called them a really, big uh, red box. It was, it was white. Was it white? Yeah, it was I thought white. it was green. It was like I white thought it was it, it, you're probably it was a big box. You're probably all distracted by the contents that lay within. <laughs> Maybe. It's a big box. Well, some of the magazines had red, red fun on them. Um, I think I have the most, but some of them aren't. Magazines? Yeah, you go, go through some of your stuff that's a little bit different. Which I think okay. for the most part, we just want to kind of flash covers. Yeah. So this is my free Otobi Swim Club thing art book, I guess. It's got all the sort of designs in for people and a bunch of like, like stuff. Information on. Looks something. like it's got information on like the areas and like the backgrounds. And which obviously I can't understand any of. It's just one full of screenshots. Sexy wet men. This cost seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence, and I don't regret it. I'm really, really fucking happy. So oh, I'll show you other expensive one, and everything else will be above point. Oh. The free magazine. <laughs> so, uh, well, it wasn't this, free though. This is a magazine. This isn't a thing. It comes with like posters and information on stuff. But the reason I bought it was because there's a massive free poster with it. It's the front cover. 
It's, it's on the front cover, basically. Without so all the text. Out, but that's that's like an eighth of it. Big. It's big, and I'm really happy. Big but swim. I think it's got to replace a poster, but I don't know which one. Yeah. It can't replace my Star Driver poster. That's for sure. Yeah. That's all I know. Just uh, pop it this one. Yeah, but I got my Wagner Maria poster as well. Yeah. That's got to go somewhere. That's so good. It's really good, isn't it? Um, so that was the other expensive one. This was ten pounds. I want a flashy Megami's bro. I do. So I spent four quid on new wallpaper <laughs> because uh, my posters need a need a redo. And it, and it's, it's, it's lots of clan art. There's the crap loads of B2 posters, and there's um, these are all from the magical box of a pound a piece. A lot cheaper than the sixteen pound a piece you'll usually be fetching for. Uh, I don't think I've got any. Wuss promos or I've got a wuss you promo. Had, you had a promo. I've got as well. a wuss promo. Yeah. yeah. Very angry looking fake. Right. I love this one. Right. It's very very yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. Watch how I'm gonna need you this. What? Right, I'm gonna need your guys' help for this. Pull this out. Oh my it's god. It's from the I the noon well, the same noon. The <laughs> the latest I movie. This is pretty recent though. Yeah. It's awesome. da, 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 April of uh, last, last year? year. So yeah. Can't wait to see this film. It's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. We talked about that in a season preview. That's great. And then we ragged on Love Life. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not IMAX. Oh, yeah. And finally, more. So, yeah, that's my new wallpaper. They got a couple of Megami's as well. Basically, I found out a little, I was a little late to the one pound Megami party. So I just went in and kind of grabbed all the dregs. And then I was grabbing some gems. I got, I got some. Oh, there's a bit of crap, really. And then I got this. Oh, I like the, the I, I like the, the front cover of this one, though. It's a fucking railgun, bro. It's a fucking railgun, bro. But yeah, I got some. I got some alright posters. I got. I got a couple of corkers. Uh, and I got some a lot of, loose posters. And I got here. A, lot, a lot of bad ones. Yeah, and then here's the other one. Yeah, that's the one that comes with the the fake promo. Yeah. But yeah. Is so. it just? Is it just a vanilla? Um, I'm not. Sh no, it's got an effect. I'm not sure what it does though. Okay, can you can you read that? Hang on, hang on. The card? That's gonna have to have a harsh drawback. Isn't the card still in there? When you place. Yeah. When you place this card from your hand to the stage, choose a card with fate in the name. Place it in the waiting room. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> yeah, some others. Yeah, it's done. Done. Okay. <coughs> so one of these is not a Magoni. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll fish that one out first. Is that the one with Hazuki Narita? Yeah. So that there one is. here. There it is. But it's got some free in it, it's got an amazing Utena Prince on poster in it, which I actually am going to get out of. Oh, and I got a Diabolic Lovers poster that fell out. It's got Diabolic Lovers on the back. Oh, look at it, Kevin's got your favorite, two of your favorite characters on Yeah, I look at him cooking. Is that it? There you go. There you go. Oh. You know what? Diabolic Lovers is better than Diagon Rumpa. But I want to show this poster off, so... This is G to the Lorries. I love it. Hey! That, that's, that's like, that's a bloke. Is it, is it actually a bloke? Yeah. Yeah, a bloke. Mm -hmm. He's adorable. Oh, fantastic. The rest of these are sort of bought because they had K-On posters in them, to be honest. So we got that one, which has Railgun on the front, right? Index. Index. Index, yeah. But so close. Cl close. Some close. Got some K-On well, on the front. Both yeah. Technically. We've got some Haruhi on the front for a bit of a switch up. Before we go back to Kane, and it's got the, the best poster. Yo. Lee knows how good this poster is. If you haven't seen um, Working or Wagnoria, whatever you prefer to call it. Just just this, yeah. No, it's adorable. Or there's a pop It's got pop on it, I love her. So yeah, cute! That is all my Magamis. That is all the Magamis, I believe. Yeah? yeah. Merchandise. Do you want to start off? The new Poochie Nendos for... Vocaloid, I've got three of them. We got uh, my personal favourite, the one I had to go for first. Dug through four boxes for this one. I love that one. It's yeah, awesome. That one. I think that's, so my, I think that's my favourite as well. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? And then both me and the old Emily got a. Uh... I actually, I actually took this one out of the box. This is the only one I got. And this is the. I'm not much for petites, but this is the one I was looking for in particular. Is the deep sea Miku. She's very adorable. And who I haven't got out of the box yet is uh, Luca. a Luca in a kimono. So, you can't go wrong with a bit of Luca in a kimono. Nope. No, you can't. For realsies. And then you. And then I have one other petite. I wasn't going to get another petite. And then I saw the Fate set with 
the Saber Altar, and I thought, well, we might as well give it a thumb through, and we managed to find it, so, yay! So now when I get... Well, I was, I was trying We've to... We've seen it. I was trying to get a better hold on it. <laughs> Joke. Just her in her casual clothes, but even though she looks like she's about to murder you, she's... You, you could know. have had, you could have had, though, you could have had Rin in a car. Rin in a car. I mean, I, could, I have one other little thing, because I can't talk about... The bigger purchases because they. She I'll bought Nendoroids. Be, yeah, I bought. She bought actual Nendoroids. I bought actual Nendoroids, but for reviewing sake, I won't talk three about them. them. I almost got three of them. I almost, I almost got four, Ooh. but I was like, uh. That's a lot yeah. of plastic. Mm -hmm. but yeah, to I be have. Fair, you can't talk about things because of spoilers. Of figure it out. Yeah, but you do have a hint of one. Of one. Oh yes. Well, I've I've bought some figures. I even thing is I caught Nendoroid fever because even though I bought one. <laughs> So technically, between us, we got four. Um, I'm just gonna get this out of the way real quick. Uh, just random little tat. Banana charm. It's got the silliest little face on it. It's so cute. Anyway, yes, I bought a scale figure as well because I, I, yeah, I need I need something to bring home to do figure eight on. Um, but I'm not gonna show you what it is because reasons of spoilers. This is your only clue. Ice creams. These are actually delicious. They taste like shit. You taste like shit. My last purchase was the ultimate Madoka, Godoka, whatever you want to call her, Nendo. With a vast collection of Nendos I have. Got it for 30 quid instead of 35. Because I'm pro and I do that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm quite happy to get this. Lots of little bits and bobs. Have a good play. Pose it with the others. Knock it over a lot when I'm trying to dust it. That one <coughs> is an arse. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking, looking for she is good. I think Very every good. rendition of God O'Kara is an arse to do anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much, <laughs> She's yeah. got bits going everywhere. She's such a flamboyant cluster. Yeah, you, the, this one means you have pretty much every single Madoka and Android going. Are you you're missing what, two? I'm, I'm missing, missing one. Uh, you said te te technically one. Yeah, at the minute. If you don't count Nagisa, mm -hmm. which we don't count Nagisa. I bought this for John. This, the, I bought this. It's a To Love Rue plushy thing. Um, in, in loving memory of, 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 uh, of uh, friends that we lost over the course of Kitacon. <laughs> Poor John. He had a small thing to fill a large hole in his head. <laughs> yeah, he had, a, um, he had an unfortunate run-in with a bedpost and had to go home early, bless him. So uh, <laughs> I bought that to cheer him up. I got this, uh, I got this reserve for me, especially. By again, our lovely friend Laura. We gave her so much money this weekend. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so much money. For now and in the future. <laughs> you know. Carrying on the berserk hype train that I'm on and have been on for like the past year or whatever. Oh, I've got some Griffith plushies! I didn't even know these existed! They're amazing! How much were they? 15 quid for the pair of them. That's amazing! I'm not, I'm not really one for plushies, but it's got some It's Griffith. weird to see Guts being cute. I know, yeah! <laughs> it, it, he manages to pull it off in a I'm gonna murder you sort of way. <laughs> Aww! Uh, speaking of plushies. Speaking of plushies, we have. Is that yours? Yep. Okay, did you switch them around? <coughs> so, not one, but two alpacas. What are they we called? We got matching alpacas, because we're so fucking cool. This one is Nanan. Life. Nanan from uh, Kill Kill. And this one is called Mamo, named after Mamoru Miyano, who voiced alpaca in Shirokuma Cafe. There you go. Oh, I also got a little one, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I stuck it up there. <laughs> this is, um... Mini Mammal? Alan, <laughs> Alan Packer. Aww. Named after Alan. Because he's my friend, and I like him a lot. And he's a little pink one, and they're gonna live together, and they're gonna be smushy and cute. Yeah. And we're so happy. And this isn't even the last thing, but I fucking love this thing so much. It's really, really soft. They're really, really bouncy, as Lee, as Lee might be able to demonstrate. Yeah, they double as a basketball. You wanna demonstrate? Right. I don't know, man, I've had a bit of drink. <laughs> <laughs> he started. <laughs> He started before us, the bastard. Oh, no, that's, that's alright, that'll do. Well, I'll do. Well, I'll do. Yeah. Oh, no. as, as penance for showing you. Could you oh, hold no. on to. No, you hold on to Alan Packer, and you can hold on to Momo. It's not good. I know I feel bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so much alpaca going on. But I have one yeah. last thing. I think it's the last yeah, it's, thing. It's, it's, yep. it's not very good. Right, I had like, I was standing there and I was thinking, I really want to buy this. It's really, really rare that I've seen it come up. And he was like, yeah, you should buy it. And he was like, no, you shouldn't buy it, it'll come up cheaper. 
and I ended up buying money. it. It was a lot of money. You weren't even almost going to buy it, and then Lee came along and was like, yeah, you should Basically, buy it. Basically, <laughs> from, <the way laughs> yeah. from the way I understand it, you were the angel on the shoulder, and you were the devil on the shoulder, yep. and the, the devil, devil won. won. <laughs> but I have been after this figure for a little bit of time, since I started. A little bit of time, not, not, not that long. A little bit of time, time since Lee went, do you want that? <laughs> I'm to blame, I'm um, sure you existed. And there was another problem where I couldn't decide which one I wanted, but I went with this one because it's got a pointy stabby knife. <laughs> Which is the Altair of Isaiah from Dorara, and I'm so pleased with it because it's so cool. I really, really like this thing, and oh, I love, I love, I love Altair pre-painted scale figures but every way. You know what we didn't buy? We didn't buy the Dorara Blu-ray box set because all the anime weren't there when they said they were going to be there. So, Andrew Partridge, I usually love you, but bro, you let me down. I've got an alpaca on my head. A little bit. There you go. I think, yeah, I think it's really a fair added. price. It ticked all the boxes. It's, it's cool. It's and you're on it. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not a fair price. But that's, still, that's, that's like everything here. It's, it's cool and you want it. It's cool and you want it. That's, that's all you need to that's, think that's about. That's the rule. Oh, and I was confused whether I was going to get Shizuo or Isaiah. I went with Isaiah. I'm going to get Shizuo at some point. At some point. She's for significantly less money. Probably. But I get to enjoy this for longer. And right now. Stabby knife. Oh, I love alpacas. <laughs> They're not the new pandas, by the way. They're not. No. But yeah, I think we should end the video because we're gonna go get drunk. He's not. Well, I'm not. I am. Um, been, been on the water for five years. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you surprise yourself? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. Lee's already started. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Throughout the video, I've been going out. There's a bottle of crack in So it's not an alcoholic, it's just oh, a special yeah, it's occasion. just because it's a special <laughs> yeah, bit This is Lee, Lee, aka Lanky Spirit. AKA Lanky Spirit. You can find him on otakakata.com doing cards of the day for Vice Schwartz. You got it. Did I say Wait, that right? Close, close enough. enough. Close, close. <laughs> what's, 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 what's all the Um, what's up? Oh, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that and Wash UK. Oh, uh, Wash UK, of course. Um, all Ch 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 YouTube channel about Vice Farts. Mm. With me, me and this guy. This is Alan, aka Blackish Shift, who is from the channel Blackish Shift, or oh. Wash UK. Yeah, man. You should know me if you're here, but if you don't, oh. welcome. <laughs> um, no, of course not. Uh, this is Tensei Twister, aka Cam. That was the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. It's taking over. It's taking over persona. <laughs> they shall name him Tensei, Tensei Twister. Twister. Now go for Twistos. <laughs> Twistos. That's my new breakfast cereal. Yeah, well, they're it's, it's, in the little. They're in shapes of like little anime figures. Tensei Twonky. Tensei Twonky. Tensei Twonky. I review figures, which is why. Which is ironically why you haven't seen any figures in this bloody haul video because I can't show them to you. There's about eighty percent of what we bought. Yeah, we can't I, bloody I, show them to you. I blew, like I had, like took out cash and then it was just all gone in like one stall. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Starshoot from the same channel as Tensei Twister, and she does Nendoroid reviews specifically. Yay. Yep. Is that a good outro for everyone? I'd say so. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go get drunk. Oh, and you can also find us three on the Oko Anime Club. Isn't that exciting? Oh. We can talk about it. Yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. 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 Bye.